One of the great features of the Interbank FX Trader 4 software is its ability to accept third-party MQL4 software. MQL4 stands for MetaQuilts Language 4, which is the programming language of the Interbank FX Trader 4 software. These third-party files can be installed using an automatic installer provided by the programmer or installed manually. Because automatic installers tend to be different from one to another, we will not discuss them in this session. However, I will demonstrate how to manually install these files. This process is also the basis of transferring files from one platform to another, either on the same computer or from computer to computer. First, there are two types of MQL4 files. The first is an EX4 file, and the second is an MQ4 file. The difference between the two is that you can modify the code of an MQ4 file, but cannot modify the code of an EX4 file. In the platform, when you are looking at your EA list, if you only have an EX4 file for the EA, the icon will be gray. If you have the MQ4 file, the icon will be colored. Before we go any further, let me first mention that if you have downloaded your files in a zipped format, Please extract the files before following these procedures. Now, let's install an expert advisor. First, left-click on your EX4 and or your MQ4 files that are expert advisors. If you need to select more than one file at a time, press and hold down the control button on your keyboard, then left-click on all of the files you want to select, and then let go of the control button. Now that they are all highlighted, Right-click on one of the highlighted files and select Copy. Next, locate your desktop icon for the Interbank FX Trader 4 installation you would like to add these files to, and right-click on it. In the menu, select Properties. Towards the bottom of the Properties window, you will see a button that says Find Target if you're still running Windows Explorer, or Open File Location if you're running Windows Vista or Windows 7. Left-click on this button. This opens up the Interbank FX Trader 4 file directory on your hard drive. Scroll to the top of the file listings and locate the Experts folder. Double left click on it to go into that folder. When I'm moving files around inside of directory folders, I prefer to be in the List view. To change to the List view, right click anywhere inside of the current viewing window. In the menu, go to View, and then in the side menu, left click on List to select it. Now that we're in list view, right click in the white space around the existing files or folders and select paste from the menu. You should now see the new EX4 and or MQ4 files added to the list. If you've had your trading software open during this process, you will need to close the program and reopen it for the software to recognize these new files. Once the program has reopened, Go to the Navigator window and look in the Expert Advisors list to ensure that you see the new files available to you in the list. Now, let's install a custom indicator file. First, go back to where we have our files waiting to be installed. Again, first, right-click on your EX4 and or MQ4 files that are custom indicators. Now, right-click on one of the highlighted files and select Copy. Next. Go back to the directory window we were using. We were already inside of the Experts folder. Now, let's go into the Indicators folder. Again, I want to be in List View. Now that we're in List View, right-click in the white space between the files or folders and select Paste from the menu. You should now see the new EX4 and or MQ4 files added to the list. While we are still here in the file directory, I will show you where these other file types belong. First, click the back arrow here in the top left corner to go back one level in the directory. We are now just inside of the Experts folder. This DLL file on the desktop is a data language library file. Some EX4 and MQ4 files will rely on a DLL file to function properly. These DLL files belong inside of the library folders here. Next, click the back arrow here in the top left corner to go back one level in the directory. We are again just inside of the Experts folder. This script file goes here. 
into the Scripts folder. Now, click the back arrow twice to return to the main directory level. This TPL file is a template file. This file goes here, into the template folder. Again, if you've had your trading software open during this process, you will need to close the program and reopen it for the software to recognize these new files. Once the program has reopened, go to the Navigator window and look in the Custom Indicators list for the custom indicator you added. Next, go to the Scripts list to see the script we added. Lastly, right-click on a chart, go to Template, and in the Side menu, locate the template file we had added. 